Okay, my name is Ben Emery, so I'm a senior research fellow at the University of Melbourne and the Howard Florey Institutes, and I'm working in a Trevor Kilpatrick's multiple sclerosis group. I'm primarily interested in understanding the events that drive the myelination process, and this is both during normal development, so usually in humans uh, myelination occurs in the first sort of 18 years of life, but also in understanding how that uh, relates to myelin repair in human diseases such as multiple sclerosis. So I'm interested in the factors that either promote or inhibit the formation of myelin by oligodendrocytes. dendrocytes. The research project I'm engaged in is trying to understand the role of a transcription factor. So transcription factors are genes that in turn control the, the expression of a wide number of other genes. And I've identified a transcription factor that is vital during development of the mouse for the generation of myelin. And I'm now taking this uh, transcription factor and trying to understand its role in remyelination or myelin repair in mouse models of multiple sclerosis. Essentially, this transcription factor is only expressed by mature oligodendrocytes within the brain. This transcription factor, which we call the myelin gene regulatory factor, or MRF, is only expressed within the brain by the mature myelinating oligodendrocytes. And this was really what gave us our first lead that it might be important in having a role in myelination because it was only expressed by the myelinating cells. So I use a, a number of different models to try and investigate the role of this transcription factor. Uh, primarily I use uh, genetically modified mice in which either this uh, transcription factor is either overexpressed in our cell type of interest, oligodendrocytes, or the gene for ex uh, or the gene encoding this transcription factor is actually deleted in the oligodendrocytes, so they're unable to express it uh, normally. Uh, I also use uh, quite a few uh, tissue culture uh, models where we can take these oligodendrocyte progenitors out of a mouse or rat and culture them over a prolonged period uh, in tissue culture dishes and also manipulate the expression of a gene in that context. Um, we also use quite a few biochemical models and uh, also mouse models of multiple sclerosis where we can induce uh, demyelination and then look at uh, effectively the my myelin repair in these mice. So the ultimate goal is basically to identify strategies where we can promote remyelination in the context of MS. So it's really been shown over the years that initially or in the early stages of multiple sclerosis Remyelination occurs reasonably efficiently, but then as the disease progresses, this uh, remyelination process seems to become less and less efficient. And this is probably a, quite a large uh, contributing factor to the progression of the disease. So what we're hoping is that if we can identify ways to promote the efficiency of remyelination and combine this with the current uh, immunomodulatory uh, treatments, we can uh, uh, sort of get a, a dual approach that uh, really improves the outcome in MS. If we can prove that in a mouse model that modulating the expression of its transcription factor can improve the efficiency of remyelination, then the next step is really trying to find ways where we can modulate its expression in human or at least animal models without using genetic manipulation. And rele uh, relevant to this, there's uh, several pharmaceutical companies that have expressed some interest in setting up screens for, for instance, components that either affect its expression or activity in, for instance, cultured cells. And using this as a screen, you can then start looking for drugs that you can then put back into the animal models and screen them for uh, ones that improve the efficiency of myelination. So the hope would be that if we can find agents that promote the expression of this transcription factor and also the efficiency of remyelination in mice, that they'd then serve as the basis for uh, human drug trials down the track. So at the moment we don't have any agents that will, that we know of, that will promote or inhibit the expression of this transcription factor. Unfortunately I think this sort of research is always very slow, so from the point that we identify a, a target of interest, in this case a transcription factor, you then have to identify strategies to modulate its expression. That's going to take several years. Uh, there's then going to be corresponding sort of dosage experiments in uh, mouse models, for instance. That's probably going to be several more years. And then you're looking at another uh, several phases of clinical trials, which is again is probably at least a five-year endeavour. So from the point of discovery in a laboratory to the point where you might be getting a human therapeutic on the market, you're probably talking anywhere between 10 to 20 years. But one of the other areas that I'm really interested in is understanding what signals the neurons or nerve cells provide to the oligodendrocytes to either promote or inhibit the myelination. 
So it's really known that neurons are instrumental in dictating whether or not the connections they form with other neurons are myelinated. And understanding, so essentially they can uh, express signals on their cell surface that either says myelinate me or don't myelinate me. And it's quite possible that uh, changes in these uh, signals during the course of multiple sclerosis may dictate why some MS lesions go on not to myelinate. So one of the questions I'm particularly interested in is what are these uh, signals that neurons can produce that uh, determine whether or not an oligodendrocyte can myelinate or not. And at the moment I'm uh, currently running a screen for a series of candidate uh, genes expressed by neurons and uh, receptors for these uh, factors on the oligodendrocytes to see which uh, have effects on myelination both in animal models and also tissue culture models of myelination at the core of this project myself, but I'm working within a much larger umbrella group that's headed by Trevor Kilpatrick, who has a very large group that's looking at various different aspects of multiple sclerosis research, including genetics. Working more closely with me, I have one research assistant and also a very talented postdoc who's uh, recently joined me. And hopefully over the next several years, I'll also have uh, students joining uh, my group and also working on these projects.